Hey, what's up dev? Welcome back to WebDev Channel. In today's episode, you will learn how to create this amazing circular progress bar using HTML, CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript. As always, we are gonna create that from scratch step by step. Watch the whole thing because by the end of it, you will learn how to make it by yourself. I think it is a good addition to your portfolio or website. Let's get started. Okay, Dev, let's start really from scratch with you. So now we have our index.html, let's create our style.css, and last but not least, our app.js. Okay, looks like we have the two of them. Let's close this for now, the app and the style.js, and let's create here our boilerplate. Let's hit tab a couple of times and go to the title. The title, let's say, Circular Progress Bar. Okay. And still in the head tag, let's have a link connect to our markup to our CSS and our script. Okay. Point it to external JavaScript file. Let's say here, defer. It means that the page is going to be load first and then our JavaScript. Okay. And let's go, go to the body. And in the body, let's see what you have so far. Okay, let's put side by side. Looks like we have a blank page. Let's change that to create our first div, okay, called a skill. We have our main div, but now let's give the size width 160 and height also 160. So we have a square, okay. Let's give a color so you can see. Once you can see, you can be able to style it, okay. And let's give the color of orange. It's too big, let me decrease it a little bit. And for the position, we want that to be relative. Okay. And our idea is put that right in the middle. But right before that, let's create our CSS reset like we always do. Okay, because we don't accept the numbers from Safari and different other web browsers. Okay. So let me show you what they offer here. Two pixels solid and green. And as you can see, we have margin and padding. Okay. So let's get rid of the margin, the, this area outside, and also the padding. Padding also zero. Okay. Box size in here, we want that to be border box. And now we can get rid of this. All right. Let's give a background color here. Pick one that fits your project okay a3 a d f7 the height is gonna be 100 view port height okay so the full screen and for the layout is gonna be display flex because you want to put that in the middle align item center along the cross axis and now along the main axis okay just like content center and yeah it is right in the middle Okay. Let's go to work with our main container here. Okay, with a skill. Let me show you just the one. And for now, you know where it is. Let me get rid of this one, this background. And let's go back into the HTML. Okay. And in here, let's create the our div outer. Okay, and the load one inside is one inner. All right. Now let's type this one. First one, the outer. Let's give a size the same as the, the main container. Okay, height and width of 16 pixels. Let's give it a border so you can see it. That's very important. And you have a square. We don't want that. We want that round. So border radius, let's say 50% and nice. All right, and now let's go back here and apply some style also to the inner. The height and the width is gonna be 120 pixel. It's smaller than the outer, of course, it's gonna be inside of it. Let's copy and paste it here so you can see it. And yeah, it's not well located, okay? We have to put that right in the middle. Let's do that using padding. So padding 20 pixels all the way around and it's right in the middle. Let's get rid of this because we're gonna replace that using box shadow. 
let's have our box shadow, okay? It's gonna be six pixels, six pixels offset and 10 pixels blur minus one spread. And for the color here, let's have a white, okay? White and uh, alpha or transparency dot 15. And the second one here is gonna be minus six, minus six offset, 10 pixels blur, minus one spread. And this time the color white, okay? And the transparency is gonna be dot seven, okay? We are playing here with black and white and making this nice shadow of our circle. Let's do the same here in the inner, okay? Let's delete this one and you replace this one by box shadow this one is gonna be a little different because it's gonna be inside okay it's for the inner if you don't want to type all this long i understand that so you can download this from the link down below in the video description okay i would like to say thank you to my patrons they have access to all the source code of my videos okay this is still a small channel and I really appreciate this support. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, we have this here, the outer and the inner, and yeah, it's looking very nice, okay? Okay, and now we're gonna create that number, okay? For now, it's gonna be just a placeholder. So ID number, let's type here 65%. This is gonna be out generate using JavaScript, okay? It's just a placeholder for now, so we can style this, okay? So let's grab the number and let's give it a font weight of 600, all right? And also uh, a color, okay? The color here is gonna be this grayish color, 555. And the second step here, we want to put that right in the middle. Guess how? Let's use the layout display flex, okay? All right, and now align it the center along the cross axis and along the main axis, just like content center, and yeah, it's right in the middle. Going back now to our index.html, we need to add here our SVG, okay? Is that linear grid at the end that you're gonna use here. So this is our SVG, there's a link down below in the video description that's gonna send you to our Facebook page and you can download for free, okay? And let's apply some style. For now, we have this ugly black circle and we don't want that. So let's use some style. Let's come in here and try to understand what you have. We have the circle, for example. Let's grab this circle here and the fill none and yeah this one disappear the stroke let's find a color for now cornflower blue let's give a width in this case we call that stroke width let's say 20 pixels okay and yeah looks beautiful but we're gonna change that soon okay that's just a placeholder color we're gonna use this, this gradient color okay just let me delete this one and instead of that let's have url gradient color and yeah now we have a nice gradient so far so good but we have to find a way of put that on the top of our circle okay in order to do that let's have a position absolute of course and from top zero and from left also zero and yeah the magic is done, okay? Let's make it a little bigger so you can see our nice circle. We should now work a little bit with our animation. Okay, let's use a stroke for our SVG, stroke dash ray for fifth is the full circle. And let's also have here the stroke offset, okay? If you have 100, for example, you see that we have this part that's invisible, 300, Make it bigger, 100 smaller, 200, 300, 400. We almost we have just this piece, so you understood the idea in here. 
let's set it back to 450 okay and now let's deal with the animation itself okay so down here let's say animation anim okay let's give it time of two seconds it's gonna be linear and forwards we are talking about animation but we don't have it yet so let's just create it before that let's make this number bigger okay for size 30 pixels okay and yeah now let's create that animation at keyframes guess the name of the animation a name and at 100 percent we want to change the stroke dash offset okay let me copy the paste here let's save you some time at 100 percent we want that to be 65 percent so let's make some math here 450 minus 450 times 0.65 and we have this one 57.5 let's have it here and yeah it works we have 65 percent of the circle is covered with our gradient we are in the realm of the javascript with the wrappings okay let's start by getting reference to our elements why because this way we can manipulate them okay we can do whatever we want so let's start by getting rid of this number and let's grab the id just the id okay so let's grab document get element by id and let's use that id the number let's grab that okay we grab that now let's save that into a variable let's call that number so yeah now we can do whatever we want let's let the counter be equal to zero because we're going to be increasing that using javascript let's set an interval here inside this let's have a arrow function and let's have our counter and let's add one to it okay counter plus equals one another thing we're gonna do let's grab the number use the property inner html back checks dollar sign counter wherever the counter is is what you're gonna see on the left okay as you can see we did it well but that is a problem you can see that the number doesn't stop it keeps going up and up okay so let's use the if statement if the counter is equals to 65 we want to clear the interval we want to stop everything okay else okay else we want to continue add one and also send that to the to the our ui okay so number dot html equals counter percent okay let's set here 30 milliseconds and yeah okay guys that's all for today i really hope you like it if you like it you know what to do subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time i post a new video bye bye See you in the next one.